Current Affairs January 23, 2018. Lak Talkia appointed as new DG of National Security Guard. WEF ranks India at 62nd place on Inclusive Development Index. Malta's Valletta becomes Europe's capital of culture. India to grow at 7.4% in 2018, IMF. Siddharth Singh wins Swedish Open Junior Badminton title. ONGC acquires 51.11% stake in HPCL4. 36,915 crore. West Indies to host 2018 Women's World T20. India ASEAN Business and Investment Conference held in New Delhi. Senior IPS Officer Sudeep Laktalkia has been appointed as the new Director General DG, of the Black Cats Commando Force National Security Guard NSG. The officer is currently serving as a special DG in the Central Reserve Police Force CRPF, headquarters New Delhi. He will take over from incumbent SP Singh who will retire from the post of NSG DG on January 31. India ranked at the 62nd place among emerging economies on an inclusive development index, much below China's 26th position and Pakistan's 47th. Norway remains the world's most inclusive advanced economy, while Lithuania again tops the list of emerging economies. The World Economic Forum WEF, releasing the yearly index here before the start of its annual meeting. India was ranked 60th among 79 developing economies last year, as against China's 15th and Pakistan's 52nd position. The top five most inclusive emerging economies are Lithuania, Hungary, Azerbaijan, Latvia and Poland. Malta's Valletta has been officially inaugurated as a European capital of culture. Over 140 projects and 400 events have been planned in 2018 around three main themes, island stories, future Baroque and voyages. About one-fifth of Malta's 450,000-strong population was in the streets of the capital as Valletta was officially inaugurated as the European City of Culture. India is projected to grow at 7.4% in 2018 as against China's 6.8%, making it the fastest-growing country among emerging economies. In its latest World Economic Outlook WEO, update in Davos, Switzerland on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum, the International Monetary Fund IMF, has projected a 7.8% growth rate for India in 2019. In 2017, India's growth rate dropped to 6.7%. Young Indian shuttler Siddharth Pratap Singh secured his maiden international title, backing the Swedish Open Junior International Series with a straight game victory over Denmark's Mad Kristoffersen in the finals in Uppsala. Sweden. Playing his first career final, Siddharth defeated Christopherson 21-15, 21-11 in a 33-minute match to claim the men's singles title. Public sector exploration giant ONGC has got the consent for acquiring controlling stake in fellow PSU Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited HPCL. According to a statement issued by ONGC, it has entered into a share purchase agreement with the President of India for acquiring the 778,845,375 equity shares of HPCL, representing 51.11% of HPCL. This acquisition is in line with the government's objective to combine the central public sector enterprises to give them the capacity to bear higher risks and avail themselves of economies of scale. The ICC has announced, the 2018 edition of the Women's World T20 will be hosted by West Indies in November 2018. The three venues were selected by Cricket West Indies, Antigua and Barbuda, Guyana and St. Lucia. Hosts Windies will defend the title they won with an eight-wicket victory over Australia in Kolkata in 2016. The November event in the Caribbean will be the first standalone ICC Women's World 2020 after the past five events were played alongside the men's event. India ASEAN Business and Investment Conference held in New Delhi ahead of the landmark commemorative summit meeting on 25 January. The Commerce Minister Suresh Prabhu stresses enhanced connectivity via land to strengthen trade ties. Silver Jubilee of India ASEAN Partnership is being celebrated in New Delhi on 25 January with an unprecedented summit meet.